everyone and welcome back to Streets of Rogue where this may be the very final episode I will make on this game for the foreseeable future because there's one more big quest that I have not completed and that of course is the demolitionist because I already went over the order of the characters I'd be playing it and I'm sorry that it's taken so long to make this video while I've been taking a small break from YouTube and as you know things have changed around here I got a little haircut which I, I actually kind of prefer my hair short the more I look at myself in the mirror. I don't know what kind of mop I was trying to rock like three or four years ago, but yeah, I, I hope I never have to see that hairstyle again. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to start with the final big quest, and I need to, <clears throat> before I do what I normally do and explain how the character works and what the big quest entails, I need to do a disclaimer. So what happened is that I ended up deleting one of my Streets of Rogue videos, and some people might remember the video, and if you do, you'll probably understand why that video was deleted, and that was the community submission video um i found out that apparently halfway through the video it actually isn't working because apparently the steam overlay or apparently the st I, don't, I don't know what happened halfway through the video for some reason it's not showing the game <clears throat> it's only showing my webcam for some reason so that video was so crap that i decided to just get rid of it so basically this is technically the 50th episode of streets of rogue if you don't count the one-off i did in a very early build of the game which i doubt anyone even remembers that video either so i don't know how long that video will exist i've always wanted to like bring back danny plays but that just never really worked out because i never really do one-offs of games anymore but i'm probably gonna take that statement back because just recently i released a satisfactory video and i don't know if there's gonna be more than one satisfactory video because it was literally just a video of me and my friends goofing off and i thought this seemed fun to record so i'll just upload it for all of your entertainment entertainment so i think it kind of falls into the same category as um the raft video i did so how the demolitionist works a good thing you want to know about him is that he has um blaster survivor that was a terrible example of how to use it because i wasn't the one that triggered that explosion but basically the demolitionist is a pretty all-around character he has a stat level of two in every trade he has so agility speed uh not agility and speed are the same thing speed melee um health and uh firearms but he has one special ability and it's hidden in his name and his ability is to blow up things and it's through this device that our character will be playing around so this is a bomb processor and this thing is much like the ammo processor the fud processor in which i can turn anything i want into a bomb and it basically becomes one of these things which is a remote explosive so this thing you can stick pretty much anything in here and a remote bomb will pop out once it reaches a value threshold of 100. so like the cellomatic all the items have their own prices for what you want to put into the uh, bomb processor so as you can see this ammo processor has 400 as its value if i were to put it in since it passes the threshold of 100 i get one remote bomb for it so if it's 400 400 divided by 100 is four so i get four bombs from this as you can see now i have seven and also a little advice i almost never use syringes in my practice runs for this character so i'm just gonna be throwing away all syringes no matter what they are especially like the really bad ones that i never use i should definitely make a syringe tier list like what syringes do i actually think are um like useful against like s resolving or simplifying situations or just ones you want to use on yourself so you're probably wondering why i'm blowing up this building the big quest for this character actually revolves around blowing up as much of the floor as you possibly can. And basically, it's to destroy a certain number of non-border walls. You have to destroy 75. This number is constant the entire run, because thank God, I'm not going to destroy more than 75, because this can take a while, especially on the earlier floors. So what you want to do, you want to spend time processing as many items that you will not use. Mini fridge, I'm probably not going to use, even though people might tell me, Danny, it's a good item, but... It's my choice i'd rather just I, I it's my choice of what i do with the item i want to make sure i get as much bombs as much bomb making as possible i want to use up all the items i really never care about and it, it's a good i think i think this will fit my place out because i end up at the end of my runs i always have an item that i never use i'll say like oh this is a good item and then i proceed to never use it the rest of the run so a, pair, a fair bit of advice for this big quest you want to look for walls like these once you get blaster master you'll be able to find any ball like this um, or any wall like this and you'll find like large chunks of metal wall lar large chunks of wooden or stone walls and then you just want to destroy one of your bombs and it all counts as a singular wall each tile will count as one wall so it's good to ex blow up those because it'll use up the least amount of bombs and save the most amount of time so walls worst nightmare could be a good starting trait because we can knock enemies through walls more easily therefore we don't have to blow up as many walls 
Now, what we also need to look for is just to kind of look for more opportunities to collect items. Like, as you can see here, I could probably break into this building, steal whatever's in the fridge, turn it into a bomb. Luckily, I didn't use... I used up all the food for the bombs because I knew I was going to level up on this floor. So, I can also take this bomb processor and attach it to the syringe so I get another bomb or two more extras. So, let's go over here and talk to this guy, pick up an extra mission. And it looks like we got to free a slave. Um, where's the owner? That is the question. What is he doing over there? Okay. Um, that's interesting. Uh, I should have no problem defeating this guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I almost got killed there. Um, oh, hey, this is a dude. Wait, why is this gangster? Oh, this is a gangster that just lives in his apartment for some reason. Um, okay. Uh, how about we put this here and blow him up? Oh, the cops saw that? No, okay, he didn't see that. Thank God. Okay, kill this guy. Steal that. Ghost Gibber. Ah. <laughs> Can't let the cops get suspicious. Once again, though, the later floors, if a cop ever sees you place one of these bombs down, well, this revolves around any floor. If a cop ever sees you place a bomb down, they will get angry. So be wary of that. Um, okay, let's grab whatever's in the trash, because there's always useful items in the trash in this game. People just have a habit of throwing out valuables, and then I just have to claim them. And then, little do they know that a person was able to become mayor using items that he found in the trash. Because you find some decent items in the trash sometimes. You might find a good chunk of money. You might even find, like, safe busters or... Other thieving tools that could simplify missions quite a bit. All right, so this doesn't look hard. Uh, how about we activate that? Then we'll just wait for this dude to come walk by. And then we can go grab whatever's in this safe. I've done so many practice runs on this character, and I think I'm getting the theory behind how I should play him. Because what you want to do, when you trigger bombs, you want to make sure you're far away from where the explosion happens. Because if someone sees the explosion, there's, of course, going to be a suspicion level. So, and once they see you, uh, once they see you, they'll immediately assume it's you. Even, even when it's you or when the explosion wasn't caused by you or no actually when you do cause the explosion people will always be curious and then if they see you they'll immediately link you to the crime somehow i don't know i never knew how that ai kind of worked but i think it's pretty balanced because otherwise you'd be able to get away with almost anything in this game uh okay we're gonna do this and then we're gonna gimmick them around the corner uh nope nope okay how do you get a shot off that whoa hey now whoa that was a crit damn and I want to get as much ammo off these guys as possible, so we have all that. Then we got a key to the hideout. Let's kill this guy before he has a chance to get a syringe on. Oh, always oh, crit. Jesus. Okay, nice. Um, oh, I'm not here. I'm not here. Ah, oh, he saw me. How? <laughs> no. Okay, come on. Uh, yeah. There we go. And you missed. Okay. I missed. I missed again. Got him again. I'm out of. I'm out of weapons. Uh, eat this. <laughs> Once I get Blaster Master, this big quest will hopefully be way easier. That's a mission wrapped up and we get some money for it. Now all that's left to do is wrap up the big quest. And again, in the early floors, it's going to be kind of difficult to do this. So a lot of these items, you got to think like, what item am I never going to use? I don't need the FUD because I'm probably going to level up later and I'm smart enough not to get damaged enough so that doesn't happen. So that won't like, I won't be uh, risking too much of my health. So I'll have to be a bit more careful. But let's get rid of the Ghost Giver because that's like one of the most useless items in the game. And then Slave Helmet Remover, I don't intend to free slaves like that anymore. I just do the more conventional means and kill the slave owners. Alright, uh, let's see here. We need to find an area with a good chunk of wall. We can use this because we don't have Blaster Master. Um, was that area made of stone? It wasn't. It was made of metal. Damn it. Okay, this one's not really favoring us that well. Alright, let's grab some of this. I shouldn't have drink it. I shouldn't have drunk that beer. Uh, let's see here. How about this? You kind of have to find these little T-sections because it's more walls kind of clumped together. Then we got some corners like this. And then we got more corners like that. And then we got another corner here. Let's just kind of place these down. I like to keep the bombs in my second slot. So I always know the key bind to activate them is two. And, uh, the bomb remote trigger will always be one. I'm also armed with a few other devices to help, uh, blow up some stuff. We have explode devices and we have door detonators. Items you should already be familiar with. So, by the press of a button, click, that should blow up a ton of walls. Now, what else do we got? We have 55 out of 75 destroyed. We can even destroy some of these walls, as long as they're not the boundary walls in the map. I think these groups of walls here could also kind of work. So, oh, whoa, someone could see that? Okay, ow. Oh, God. <laughs> not a smart idea. Whoa, jeez. Hi, everyone. Uh, do I have a mine? I don't have mines. Uh, okay, and, yeah. Damn it, I'm pissing off everyone now. What happened there? Uh, let me just pick up this baton. Okay, hi. Uh, hello there. Get another baton. Okay, whoa. Uh, there we go. Ow. And there goes the entire police force on this floor. That was also exactly 75 walls, so we can move on to the next floor. This does take a bit of time, 
But uh, if you find the optimal places to the optimal places to blow up stuff, you'll be completely fine. I'm gonna increase firearms. Walls worst nightmare plus is not important to me. So let's see what disaster it tries to give me on this floor. What hell do you want to put me through? It's a killer robot. All right. Well, that's fine. I can have the killer robot blow up stuff if I want him to. But uh, I'm just gonna handle the missions first. You want to prioritize the missions then the big quest. Unless it's ooze, then you gotta be really careful where you blow up stuff because you want to make sure you do it optimally. Otherwise, you just have to try to trek through ooze constantly. Okay. Let's uh open this. Get everybody out. Hopefully that dude dies. Um, come on, no, catch the gangster. No, the gangster's getting away. You're letting the gangster get away. God damn. Whoa. Okay, I had no idea he was on the same street as me. Oh, he died. Good. All right, I got a shotgun for that. Br brilliant. All right. Uh, I wonder if I actually I've never tried this. I wonder if he is. I wonder. If, ah, he. Someone else ran to the banana peel. I wanted to see if the robot could actually slip on a banana peel. I've never tried that. Okay. Oh, everybody's walking outside. That's good. I can walk in here now. All right. Uh, while they're all out there, I can just activate these switches. Okay. Whoa. Um. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And we need to run through here. Okay. And oh god. Uh. Okay. Get this out of here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. There we go. And cardboard box. Um. Oh god damn it! <laughs> he walked over me. All right, you also want to destroy any generator that you get an opportunity to because that'll also destroy some walls. There we go, full health. You also, for blowing up walls, you actually get experience for it as a demolitionist. All right, we'll kill this guy, why not? That's the end of my police baton. Hey, blow this wall up. Yeah, thank you. Blow this wall up too. Thank you. <laughs> blow, blow up an exit for me, actually. Can you do that for me? Thank you very much. Uh, blow up some more. Okay, blow this up. Okay, there we go. And blow up that corner. There we go. Just kind of let him do my work for me. And there we have it. Okay, ow, that looked like that hurt. Okay, and blow up that corner. Okay, I, you just gotta be careful. You gotta move at the right moment. Okay, and that's the big quest wrapped up. Ooh, a baton. Uh, need melee weapons. Wanna collect some more weapons while I can. Uh, pick up any syringes or drugs. Oh, jeez. Pick up any syringes or drugs while I can. Okay, I gotta move. You gotta move. Okay, uh, I kind of want him to kill some of these gangsters. That could be useful. If you shoot some of these gangsters for me, that could actually give me some free melee weapons. So how about you shoot these guys for me? Okay, you, no, not damage yourself. Shoot this guy. There we go. And, uh, oh, God. Okay, uh, there we go. Well, I picked up a baseball bat off that, so there was slight profit. All right, that's the end of that floor. Nimble fingers, that's good. I can place down door detonators pretty quickly now. That'll be the only reason I'll ever need to use it. I, I didn't actually look at the other traits. I hope I didn't miss something good. All right, so we got a bank to rob here. We have some more stuff. We got a lock pick that could simplify the mission quite a bit. Um, in my practice run, I actually had wrong building at one point, and I didn't realize how useful wrong building was. It was a very useful trick. Okay, none of these people in this building have guns, so I could actually run through this pretty easily. All right, so let's uh, go this way. He's probably gonna lose track of me. And how about we move through here and break this? Hi there. Um, I got a shotgun. I got firearms too. That should be good enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. And uh, I'm running out of time. I need to get to that switch. No, my XP, I need it. Give it to me. Yes. <laughs> Boot earns. That could also simplify missions. All right, let's just destroy this computer. Actually, I wonder, is it, I think it's faster just to use the computer. I don't know why I destroy it all the time. I don't know. It just became a habit, probably because I just play like Gorilla and uh, all those other melee heavy characters a lot more often. So I just end up having a habit of destroying the computer instead of just using it. All right, so what have we got here? I could use my explode device and break him out on my own, but actually, let's see how that works. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's an instant explosion on the overclock generator. Oh, God. Um, whoa, why is there a fight going on there? What was that all about? Okay, hello. How about we break you out? Okay, I also want to knock out all the fire in this area. Why does he want to go to the entrance? I hate it when they always make me take the long way. Also, let's check if we have any items that I want to get rid of. Uh, this bacon cheeseburger, I don't need it since I have full health. Police baton, I'm not gonna need. I wanna keep at least one melee weapon though. So that'll give us two extra detonatable bombs. Oh, a banana peel. Uh, banana peel can also be turned into a bomb. All right, oh, there's a lot of cops right there. Um, what else do we gotta do? We're short uh, a few walls. I think if I do this, that's enough. There we go, we're out of here. All right, two dash two, I'm seeing a nice opportunity right here. So if I wait for a minecart to fly by, I am going to place a door detonator here, and then I'm going to knock on the door, and he does not know that I have already touched that door. Damn it! <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, you beat it. Ow. No. Get out of here. 
No, die. Alright, ooh, more free items. Uh, thank you very much. Where'd that syringe go? I saw a syringe on the ground. Um, what? I, I'm, I'm not crazy, right? There was a syringe on the ground. There was a white syringe on the ground. I saw one. <laughs> it went somewhere. Ooh, a machine gun. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Throw away the rock. We don't need the baseball bat. Okay, we can move on. I might use the killer thrower. That's why I haven't gotten rid of it yet. Using the lockpick, I might actually be able to get through this without anybody seeing me. So, let's just walk up here. Yeah, I can definitely do this without people seeing me. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Ooh, freeze ray. That's kind of useful. So, what do we got going on up here? We got a slave to free. Well, we can't do this in front of the cops. Huh. Okay. I'm trying to think of how I would handle this. Okay, so we're going to shoot him with a freeze ray. And then we'll hit him with the axe. Then we'll beat him up. And we'll get a memory mutilator. And we'll leave that... Uh, we'll leave him to... Actually, whack someone over here. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> Alright. We'll leave that to them. Alright, so we got an overclock generator that we can definitely take advantage of. Industrial is one of the easiest places to cause explosions. Because there's so many overclock generators that destroy any block, by the way. So, let's just break one of these down. And, uh... Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Give me that save combination. Uh, let's break this. Since it's Blast of Survivor, it doesn't matter because I have... It, it doesn't matter for me because the explosion won't kill me since I caused the explosion. And how about we grab the baseball bat? Or the, the baseball. The signed baseball, which for some reason the resistance asks that I acquire. Alright, so that's all the uh, floors for this area. Or that's all the uh, tiles I can destroy. And oh, hi. What the hell's going on here? Alright, um, let's just move over this way. I hope that drug dealer doesn't get killed. Um, okay. I hope... I hope the dude doesn't die. Okay. And there we go. Uh, let's teleport back to him and acquire my acquire my uh, reward. Thank you. Okay, he didn't die. Good job. All right. And uh, there was a lot of carnage over here that I missed out on while I was going to kill uh, his rivaling drug dealer. Okay. Longer status effects. Trust funder. Low cost jobs. Trust funder. Why not? I can always go to a load automatic and buy more explosives for my character. Uh, since load automatics will offer me all the gear that I started with. All right, what have we got here? We got a riot going on. Exactly what I want. All right, um, how do I handle this? Hi. Okay, I'm not here. I'm not here. All right, not bad. Sneaking around pretty easily. And uh, how about we hit it with one of these? And uh, oh, oh man, oh man, it's a uh, flowing. Okay, uh, mm. damn it. Okay. Um, what do I do about this? Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is not going well at all. Okay. Uh. Uh. Freeze rate. And. Okay. There. <laughs> Blasted Survivor. That's what it's all about. If, uh. By the way, if someone else hit that, I would have died. That would have been a death. God damn it. I gotta stop doing stupid stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to teach you how to play these characters properly. Even though I give you advice on how to play these characters, I think half the things I do as these characters, I can advise you if you're new to the game, do not do what I do. All right, that's another overclock generator being overclocked to the point where it will soon blow up. And ow. Okay, and hey now. Uh, uh, whoa, hey, okay. Well, I think it was better off I got knocked over there. Okay, I'm gonna need to find some food. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Okay, um, well, uh, drop the cigarette, mine. Okay, get out of here. Uh, oh man, there's a lot of people over there. We need to grab this. There we go, dizzy grenades. Uh, I do want to start sorting through this stuff. What don't I need? Syringes that I don't know what they do. Uh, that can go, this hard hat, I don't need. Um, how are we doing on walls? Okay, we need to destroy this. Uh, before this confuses me, I'm gonna swap this back to two. Let's do this, and this, and this will also even give me a getaway point. Whoa! And uh, while I'm leaving, there seems to be a lot of money just lying around here, so I'm just gonna grab all this, and grab the wrench. Maybe there'll be some detonator I want to activate in secret. And uh, we'll just let the riot play out while I walk by. Very calmly. Yeah, hello everyone. Don't mind me. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> no, okay, wait, this is good. That worked in my favor. Because I would have gotten hit by the minecart. I would have taken way more damage. And I level up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Haha. <laughs> trust Funder Plus, Speed Plus, Burning Bullets. Uh, we'll take Trust Funder Plus. Why not give me more money? Alright, 16 minutes in, and we're already in park. This is good. This is good. So let's buy another Explode Device, another Door Detonator. Another uh, one of these, another one of these. You know, we always need more money. We'll always need more money to buy more explosives. 
trigger more trigger more uh, explosions elsewhere. All right, what am I even looking for in here? I broke down that door without even thinking. What am I looking for? Oh, wait a minute. Um, this is a metal building, so I don't really care to blow it up. So we're just gonna do that. Body swapper, one of my favorite items in the game. <laughs> it's such a good item. All right, uh, what have we got here? Um, whoa. Okay, I was about to say. Oh hi. Get out of here. All right, it looks like we got some people to kill. Um. All right, how about we hit him with one of these? Yeah, I'm over here. Over here, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm over here. Yeah, that's right. Walk over here. Walk over here. Walk over to the mine. Walk over to the mine. Okay, you know what? I'll have to throw it on my own. There we go. <laughs> okay, axe for, uh, freeze ray. And then a good whack. There we go. And uh, some rocks. Not bad. I wasted a mine, but that's okay. Actually, hold up. Can we... Oh, I activated my own mine. My bad. All right, how about we do that? Knock it through the walls. Because then we can get more of the big quest done. And how many is that? 21 out of 75. I haven't even thrown my ex own explosives yet. I haven't even been intending to blow up any walls yet, and I've already done some progress. Although this maze is already a good candidate for a place I can blow up, since there's so many like little intersections for the walls that I can just blow up a lot more with less explosives. So let's attack this area, attack this. Let's see what that does. Puts us up at 61, not bad. I have two more bombs, and that's good. Uh, what I should do is I should process some more. What don't I need? I don't need the baseball bat. I don't need the baton that's like nearly destroyed. Um, we gotta kill Healthanizer. When did I get that? I don't remember. Um, what else? I'm not gonna need sugar. I'm probably just gonna get rid of that. Uh, what are you selling? Are you selling anything interesting? I rarely look at shopkeepers. Uh, I'm gonna buy this med kit just in case I need it for something. So that's the big quest covered, and we can move on to the next level in park. There you have it. I'm doing pretty well this time around. And I probably jinxed it by now. I normally die in downtown or uptown because I stupidly place an explosive and a cop has actually seen me. And then that just leads to a chain reaction and then just ends up getting me killed. Alright. Oh, hi. Okay, we got a lot of... Okay, we got some dudes who want to speak to me, it looks like. No, you're not getting away. Get back here. Wow. Wow. I, I promise, after I beat all the big quests for this game, I'm going back to enter the gungeon. There we go. Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting that guy to react so quickly. There we go. And die. All right, that's another mission covered, and we can even destroy this for some extra wall destruction. Oh, uh, let's grab that. I kind of want it. It's getting grilled alive. All right, uh, let's see here. We already have full health, so I could easily just get rid of this item. How about we get rid of the baseball bat, and we'll take the rocks, because I might use a killer thrower and uh, do something fun with it. Probably one of the best items you can get as a demolitionist is probably a rocket launcher, but that doesn't, that, it normally doesn't work that way, sadly. Okay, hi. Damn it. Okay. Look, luckily I have firearms three, so it's way easier to fight these guys. There we go, and shoot him down, and kill him. There we go, and a fire extinguisher. Uh, I wonder how much threshold this will give me. Uh, let's see here, get rid of the syringe. We want the fire extinguisher, 250, pretty good for such a useless item. All right, what do we got here? We got an extra mission, and we have walkie-talkies that we can call the cops on anybody we please with. All right, hello. Um, we gotta neutralize someone? This should be easy. Do I have any extra explosives? Hi. Oh, they, I, I forgot. I don't have wrong building, so they get instantly angry at me. Okay. Um, luckily, I have an axe, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. We'll shoot you. And get rid of this guy. There we go. And you're not getting away. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> well, we got the white syringe that I swore I saw back then. Uh, but you know what? We're probably not going to use it. See, this is where the items start building up. You find a lot of neat stuff. So you just end up kind of getting rid of it. There we go. And how about we take the baseball bat? Let's drop the freeze ray for a second. Uh, let's see here. We have... Where is the bomb processor? It's right there. Process that. We want to process this. Um, I think we're good for now. And let's pick up our mission. Walkie talkies. Good job. All right. Uh, how about this? We need to blow up some of this. Okay. Let's toss that down. And what we should do... We should break as much of his building as we can before he comes to his senses. So let's uh, do that. Pick up the rocks again because you can't organize your inventory while you're dizzy. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and, okay. Ow. Um, there we go. Yes. Okay. Oh, get back here. Um, rock. There we go. Get a shotgun. Uh, it didn't have any ammo in it, though. Uh, what's that? 66. Um, I think we can blow this up, and this will put us over the top. No, we gotta blow up this. Okay, yeah, that puts us over the top. What do we need over here? I have no idea. 
Um, oh. Oh. Do I have window cutters? I don't. Okay. Do I have a safe buster? Do I have a way to destroy the computer without anybody seeing me? I might. That's a good question. That sadly is not the case. Oh, this guy's really weak. We should probably kill him. Oh, yeah. He's definitely really weak. All right. Hello. Die. Oh, wow. How did he... He turned around like the moment I tried going for him. Okay. Let's break this. And that guy's already really curious. All right. Um, how about we just hide back here? Yep, now he didn't see me because his his field of view is basically if he had horse blinders on and Then we can grab this. There we go. Sledgehammer. Ooh, good weapon Um, We're gonna process this. We're gonna process the axe. I kind of like the knife. It's a more accurate melee weapon And the guy is still coming back to investigate he doesn't know I'm there, does he? No, he doesn't. All right, well, now we can leave. We've also destroyed every single wall that we possibly could for this floor, so let's get out of here. All right, what disaster do you want to throw me next? Uh, let's see here. Prickly skin. Ah, eh, prickly skin, why not? Um, I don't see loneliness killer helping me, considering that an extra demolitionist is not gonna make a difference since they don't really have too many special abilities that like the NPC could potentially carry. All right, hello. Um, what was the disaster again? I didn't, I didn't hear it. It was ooze. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, let's see here. So while they're all investigating that end of the building, I can break in from here and destroy that from this side and then destroy that from this side. And then I do want the oil container. So we'll drop the lockpick. Uh, let's... Mine. <laughs> Let him take the bite the bullet for me. All right, uh, let's see here. We have this. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. That worked way better than I thought. Okay, get get back here. Give me these axes. I want the melee weapons. All the melee weapons. Um, damn, we have a lot. Uh, memory mutilator. I'm gonna keep. Oil container. No, I don't need. I also noticed there aren't many buildings I can work with on this floor without blaster master. So I'm gonna have to be kind of picky here. What can I do? Oh, why was there a guy in a building there? What was that all about? Whoa, get out of here. Um, there we go. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. There we go. Die. All right. Now we can drop the rocks. Uh, how about we use the uh, boombox we won't use, syringe. Okay. Let's blow up this building. All right. It's all laced and ba boom. All right. How many was that? 62. Not bad. I guess we can destroy some of these chunks too. We, we don't need these don't need to be here. There we go. And that's the big quest cover. We can actually get out of here now. And that was a pretty easy run through a park. Uh, probably because there weren't any cops trying to monitor my every action, but downtown and onward We're gonna have cops watching us So we got to be careful when we place our bombs and how we place them and then where we blow them up and how close we are to the Explosion because we don't want to link ourselves to our own crime. Wow. There's a mission. Bro okay. Get out of here There are two missions right next to each other Um, whoa. Oh, I almost went for that. That would have been a pain in the ass. Okay. Um Can I establish conflict somehow? I need to establish conflict. Actually, hire as protection. Yeah, let's... Okay, we'll hire him as protection. And we'll make him do a mission for me. We'll make him do it for me. We can kill two birds at once. See? Look at this. Check this out. All right. Um, What I gotta do... I'm gonna send him in here. Attack that barrel. Okay. Damn it. That didn't work out the way I wanted to at all. All right. Yeah, go. Go. Chase him into there and blow up the barrel. Yes! <laughs> it worked! And then... We could slay this guy. Okay, whoa, that didn't kill him? Okay, uh, higher voucher. Oh, cops saw it. Great. Okay, whoa, whoa, hey now. Oh, nope. Nope. Okay, he, ah, uh, okay, he's running. That's fine with me. You can, you can go away. Well, that worked out. Uh, how about we, man, we have a lot of stuff to convert. Walkie-talkie, um, med kit. I haven't gotten low enough on health to even bother using it. Huh. We have so much stuff. I'm gonna take the higher voucher. We'll also destroy the explosive barrels in here because we don't need we we don't need them. Okay, whoa. Okay, there we go. Blow him up and grab his uh grab his gun. Then we can blow the rest of this building up because there's a nice chunk of wall that we can blow up. Hi. What? What's your problem? <laughs> what are you looking at? Don't get in the way of my work. All right. Hey, does that guy still have? A He's still holding out his gun, so that means it's still got ammo in it. So I'm going to take the extra two ammo. We got a bit more wall to destroy, and there we go. All right, these items lying on the floor, I'm just going to get rid of them. Um, Let's grab this and toss these inside the bomb processor. 
We don't need them. Alright, but we will need the rocks and dizzy grenades. And whoa, hi. Um, I'm tempted to kill that guy, but my inventory is too full to care. Luckily, the two missions happened, like, right next to each other. So that really worked out. Okay, I was scared he was going to steal something as I was leaving. That was, a, that was a risky move. Secret vandalizer. No one will hear the loud explosions of my bombs. That's great. No one needs to see anything that happens that I do. All right, we have an augmentation table, so let's look at the augmentation booth and see what we can do. Um, nothing here. Is there any traits that are unfavorable that I can get rid of? No. All right, we got another rock, a hacking tool. What can I toss in here? Nothing useful. All right, we got to neutralize this guy, though. So what I could do, actually... Wait, hold up. Um, okay, let's do that. Well, since these guys are so off screen... Yep, there we go. We'll just leave him over here. Oh, the other guy saw me. Uh... Freeze rate? Okay, now we can deal with this guy. There we go. And that's a mission done. We, we'll come back to this building. This is a nice building. Alright, uh, let's teleport to the exit. I don't want these monsters to see me. I have too much money on me, and they'll probably bug me about it. Alright, so we got a shopkeeper here with an extra mission. I will obviously take that. It's got for, I'm in it for Hypnotizer Mark IIs. That's pretty good. Um, Alright then. <laughs> Well, you made that a bit too easy. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, here's the problem. My inventory is my biggest opponent in this situation. Damn it. Shotgun. I have so many guns. Wow. Wrench. No, no need. Axe. We won't need that. I already have a sledgehammer. Okay. Don't mind me. I didn't totally go into the back room and steal something from there. All right. We got some extra money off, off of that. And we can go back to the shopkeeper and get some Hypnotizer Mark IIs. Let's buy something from him while we're at it. Uh, sure, we'll buy the axe. We'll have some extra durability. That'll last us for quite a while. Last us into Uptown a little. And we also got some cloning machines. Maybe there's something interesting I can clone. Uh, not really. Actually, I'll clone some of these. We might want to have multiple Hypnotizer Mark IIs. That could be useful. We're going to exploit all the items we can. Uh, let's see here. What have we got going on? Ah, crap. I didn't mean to do that. That's a shame. All right, uh, I'm just gonna use my one med kit to get my health back. Yeah. Um. Th let's. How about we don't do that? Uh. How about we all stand on this train track together? Oh, they. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's no bouncer here. He probably died. All right. Um. Perhaps I can walk in here. Um. Place detonator. Hi there. Okay. I have nimble fingers. This will work out. Okay. There we go. Um. I'm gonna walk away. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Okay, hey, punch this dude. Punch this dude for some. <laughs> there we go. Wait, did, okay, there we go. Finally, I was waiting for that explosion to happen for ages. All right, let's do that. And, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna process this. I'm gonna process the extra one. All right, uh, we got some wall right here that could be taken down. It could be reformatted. Uh, let's see here. Is there any more missions? There is a mission over here. I also want to steer clear of those mobsters. I know they're around here somewhere, and they're angry at me because I ran away from them. All right, hi. Oh, hi. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, hell no. Okay. Ah, oh, I missed. I didn't think you'd walk away. Okay. Um. Oh crap. He he heard all of that. Ah, oh, he dodged it. <laughs> Asshole. Okay. Um. Okay. Wow. Okay. Damn. I'm taking all the knockback. I'm just being an idiot right now. Okay. Let's just. Get out of here. Okay, it looks like we got to retrieve an item. Um, okay. I said, I'm tapping the window. I'm over here, damn it. All right, and line up the shot. There we go. <laughs> and, okay, yeah, I want you to come outside, so I'll face you myself. Oh, shit. There's a lot of mobsters. Okay, um, I need, fuck. I need the, I don't want these mobsters to know about me. Well, you know what? Okay. How about... Yeah, you know what? He's If he's going to walk outside... Yeah, he's walking outside. You know what? Damn it. He, I, I, the building's too big for this. Okay, I need to make some noise somehow. Alright. Oh, wait. I got Secret Vandalizer. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let's shoot the Freeze Ray. And then... We can throw that. There we go. And, uh... Oh, God. Yeah. And knock this guy away. And shoot him with the Freeze Ray again. Because then we can get his gun. Okay, he still had some ammo in it. There we go. Get rid of this guy. All right, hard hat. Um, not an item I care about, but it could come in handy. So we have more bombs that we can create from this. We can probably grab the hard hat and turn that into something too. 
We can also get the knives and turn that into something. We can get the electro pill that I n really never use. That will give us a good amount of explosives. And last but not least, the extra knife. Um, what's up here in that chest? What's up here? It wasn't anything important. It was just money. All right, so this building is a good candidate to destroy. So let's get right to it. Whoa. There we go. And there we go. Get rid of this guy. And he had the safe combination. So I should probably go see what's inside this chest. So let's see what's inside the safe. And it's a bulletproof vest. I'm probably going to keep this item. Uh, let's see. What can I drop? What haven't I, like, used? Uh, beer, not something I really feel like carrying. Carrying alcohol is not exactly healthy. So this is the perfect candidate to blow up. Oh, hi. Don't mind me, officer. Don't mind me. There we go. And... Why is he walking through this building? Stop it. All right. Um, wow, he almost got hit by that train. All right, there we go. Finally, we're done with the floor. Whew. Okay. Uh, what do you got for me in downtown? I'm kind of curious. What's the disaster? It's going to be like lockdown or something stupid. Uh, shifting status effects. Almost as dumb. All right. Um, what are you going to do to me? Resurrection. Not something that lasts forever, unfortunately. Where are all your slaves, dude? No, seriously. Where are all... Oh, they're all invisible. No, that's a slave owner. Okay. The mission completed itself. All right. Uh, offer item. You know what? Uh, take the axe. I don't need it. I just uh, I just didn't feel like dealing with them. Okay, that was a dumb idea. Okay. Ah, come on. I turned dizzy at like the last second. All right. Um. Okay. Oh crap. Whoa. What's going on? I can't see the dude. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Hi. Um. God damn it. All right. Uh. How do I intend to deal with these people? Oh, great. I can't do a confused, though. Uh, but I can do... I can do that while I'm confused. Oh, there was only one thing I had to blow up. We're running. We're running. We're running. Okay. And shoot. Yep, shoot that guy. Thank you. <laughs> Easy peasy. All right. I need to get out of here. I'm too slow. Th these shifting status effects are just annoying the hell out of me. I really don't feel like walking by the sewer lid. Okay. I survived. I got lucky. Is there any thick walls I can destroy? It looks like I got a free slave over there. Alright, I'm waiting for the next status effect to happen. I'm also waiting for the next train to cross. I'm not taking a chance. Alright. Oh, it's retrieve an item. Uh, okay. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. We can process some more items. We have too much stuff on us. Like, goddamn. Alright. Let's get rid of that. We want this. We want more shotgun ammo. Alright. Confused. That's fine with me. Uh, ooh, 14 pistol ammo. Not bad. Um, it looks like there's some walls over here that can use some, use some, uh, tweaking. We can reshape those that any way we want to. Invincible. All right. Well, we can run with it. All right. We also got strength. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's, I, I, ah, you think you're slick, aren't you? Don't you? All right. Um, <clears throat> how do I intend to do this? Invisible. Oh, okay. We already, this is already the situation resolved. Okay. And, uh, shoot him. Get rid of him. There we go. And now we just got to destroy this and basically blow up this giant chunk of wall. Ah, oh, come on. That's no fun. And that's the big quest wrapped up. We got to get out of here. This slice is annoying the hell out of me. All right. I want to stay along the edge. I don't want anybody randomly getting angry at me. Electro touch. That's also going to piss off a ton of people. All right. Any other traits we can upgrade? We can't. Okay. That's fine with me. And exactly what I thought. A thief popped out of the sewer lid as I was expecting. And we can leave this floor a happy man. All right. Let's go to uptown. Break the skin plus melee. Uh, wrong building. That's the trade I want. That's a very nice trade, actually. I didn't realize how useful the trade was because there's a lot more buildings where people get angry at you, like, immediately off the bat, where they become hostile to you, and it's a great trait to have when you just don't want that to happen. Like, if I have to infiltrate a bank in this area, which that looks like somewhere that... No, it's not. That's not a bank. Um, That area, that's not a bank either. That's like a... If I wanted to break it in an area like this... No one would get hostile to me in here. They could all just get into a group, and then I could just throw a mine at them or something. Really easy. Okay. Um, what do we got going on? I want to avoid them. I don't want to get... I don't want the cop boss trying to take stuff from me. All right. Um, I don't have a safe buster. So, we're kind of on our own trying to get this. I'd have to find the guy who has the safe, or find the computer. I know there's a computer somewhere in this place. Yeah, there's the computer. Um, this isn't going to work. There's way too many cops right here. Um... How would I handle this? There's too many cops around here. 
I mean, if I break the window, they're only going to get, like, slightly annoyed with me. So, I'm just going to wait for them to walk away. And then I'm going to use it. There we go. And there you have it. Alright, now I can go around the building and blow up the wall. And then I can grab whatever's in the safe. But I don't want to be here when I blow it up. I just kind of want to smoothly walk by the next time I'm here. And then grab it. That's what I want to do. So we're going to tele... We're not going to teleport. That's a bit risky. Sometimes I just teleport on top of a cop bot. And then I just get in trouble for it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's right. You walk that direction. I'm going to walk this way. I don't want my I don't want my stuff getting confiscated. I'm going to blow that up. So that should have blown up that wall. That will allow me to get whatever's in the safe. And we got two upper crusters right here that I gotta kill. Um, anybody looking at this? Okay. Uh, how about this? Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious how I want to kill these guys. I can't just kill them in broad daylight. It's not how it works in Streets of Rogue. I mean, if I, if I start breaking into their house, I wonder. Yeah, they'll get annoyed at me. That's always fine. Uh, do I have an explosive? I do. Okay. Yeah, walk over here, guys. <laughs> okay, and then we sweep all of them. There we go. Hologram Bigfoots. That's a good item. All right, thank you. Um, Let's see here. What have we also got to get rid of? Um, We have higher vouchers. I'm not using these. I, I literally never... I almost never use affiliates. I almost never have affiliates when I play this. Okay, and then we can grab the MacGuffin Muffin. Get some Shurikens. Uh, I don't need these rocks anymore. Because now I know exactly when I'm going to use this Killer Thrower for. Uh, let's see here. What walls do I need to destroy? We've only destroyed 11, which is kind of worrying because there's a lot of places we can actually blow up. That looks like the confiscation center. Um, what's up here? This is a wall I can destroy. Okay, perfect. All right, so I've got that wall set up. Um, we're just gonna walk past that guy. And I kind of want to be in an area where no one really sees me. Like that. See, none, no one got pissed off because it was so it happened so far away that they don't care. Don't look at me. That's right, don't look at me. Alright, um, what's another place we can blow up? I think blowing up this bathroom is actually a good candidate. I almost didn't notice how many, like, T-sections there are. So we're just gonna blow up each stall. And then this should put us up top. So let's just leave that in there. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna teleport away, blow it all up, and then leave the floor. Like that. That's the big quest wrapped up. All right, good. I'm taking this really slowly. I want to be really careful with this because I normally die in this floor. I normally die in Uptown because uh, there's just too many cops watching you. It's really hard to find a good place to blow stuff up. All right, so we got a mission in there. Um, I can pay the entrance fee. I have way too much money on me. Did I just pay the entry fee twice? I hope I didn't. Um, okay, we got to break some people out of prison. Um, break out of prison. We got some gorillas. I feel like the sprite for the gorilla was supposed to be there. Uh, we're going to bribe you guys. I got plenty of money. I can do this whenever I want. All right. Uh, how about we slap this? Oh wait, I got secret vandalizer. It doesn't matter. Um, let's uh, let's open the locked doors. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk out of here. I, I don't want to be a part of this. There we go. <laughs> we'll we'll leave them to their own devices. Pick up my reward before they all die. Because I feel like if they die, that also kind of ruins the mission. All right, there we go. Or I mean, like I think it, it causes me a failed mission. All right, this looks easy too. Uh, let's bribe for this, and it's a leaf blower. I don't want this item. Uh, let's see here. Get rid of the leaf blower. We have more remote explosives to mess around with now. All right, we got someone to rescue. I doubt this mission's gonna work out. I'm probably gonna throw it. It's like, this one doesn't look easy. All right, uh, what I want to do... No, we have secret vandalizer. It's not gonna work that way. Actually, do I want to do that, though? Do I really want to? All right, actually, what we can do... That sounds stupid, too. I was going to use a body swapper to swap myself with the gorilla. But I was like, that sounds like a stupid idea, too. Because he'll just pathline back to me. And then everybody's going to get angry at him. And that's just going to be a shit show. Um, okay, what we can do, actually. Um, we're going to... Damn it, I don't know what to do for this. What if I drop this? And then see how many people get angry. There we go. And then, while that's going on... I'm going to go into here, unlock this, take this guy back to the entrance, and run away. Okay, yep, everybody's getting too busy with that. I can clone the hologram Bigfoot if I need more of them later. Ah, oh, god damn it, I did not see that coming. Alright, um, yeah, okay, yeah, alright, um, don't die, don't die. Uh, yes! Whew, okay, he almost got killed, that would have been a really big waste of time if that happened. Alright, come on, get out of here, beat it. 
Huh, window cutters. Um, could be useful. Uh, let's see here. Let's process this. I'm not gonna use the baseball bat. We have a lot of these bombs that I have not used. What's in this? What's over here? Oh, nice chunks. Thick walls. Alright, uh, destroy. That seems easy. <laughs> Alright, um, what if I just bought an explosive ice? No, that's not gonna... Uh, we can probably simpl do simpler than that. Or, what if I just place a remote explosive right there? That seems like it'll work. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't notice that super goon was there. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's just walk away. Okay. Let's. Uh, there we go. I'm just trying to find the opportunity to get to this detonator. Whoa! Hell no. Okay. Get me out of here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to approach that a lot more, a lot more intelligently than that. Okay. We got a shopkeeper over here. Hopefully, he's selling a med kit. Probably gonna need it. And even though I'm gonna level up in the next, like, few minutes, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Alright, let's buy some of this. There we go. Let's see if we can get back there without getting ourselves killed again. Alright, so we gotta, we gotta run along the wall. Do I have a grenade? I do have a grenade. Um, don't look at me. I, I need him to walk away. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, they saw that! Okay, um... Got it. Okay. Stay in here until the heat dies down. Uh, what about, what else have we got? 43 out of 75? If I can get this big quest wrapped up, that will be... What the hell happened there? Okay. Oh, jeez. Zombie... Zombieism? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Um. Anyway. We want to get... We're gonna go to a... We need to go to, like, a more secluded area. Oh, my God. I'm getting chased. Oh, my God. Wow, this guy's really fast. I'm too slow. I'm too slow. I'm gonna have to fight him. All right, um, got him. Okay, I said, oh, come on, ow. What was that all about? I don't know why that person joined it. Whoa. Okay, um, what's a good spot? We have 43. Where's a cloning device, first of all? I would like one. All right, so none of the cop bots seem to be over here, but this wall is perfectly destructible. I can get rid of this wall. Um, shrink ray? Okay, I need to think about this. Well, first of all, there's a cloning machine here. We can definitely clone these items. Uh, let's clone some of these. Clone some of these, and that's out of material. That's fine with me. All right. Um, how about we toss a grenade in here? Okay, and toss a grenade in there. Damn it. Okay. Um, let's blow that up. All right, good. And okay. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. Um and then what he's gonna be what he's gonna try to do is run around here, but I'm gonna get him. There we go. Alright, so luckily I get some extra XP for blowing this stuff up, I think. No, I don't actually. Um I thought I did. Whatever. I level up anyway, okay? I get full health for the final floor. Which is probably gonna be lockdown because we didn't get lockdown yet. Uh don't make me angry, friend of the common folk. I'm gonna take that. Might as well be safe with the safe in numbers. Um, unless they're like followers. Followers I never really take too much use to. It's Radiation Blast. Okay, that's fine with me. I can handle that. I have plenty of health. Um, is there... A, I, I don't think anybody's outdoors when there's, uh, Radiation Blast. So that's actually kind of good. That works in my favor. So what we can do is... I believe we can break this. And we can kind of get into these buildings without any consequence whatsoever. So I think I'm actually home free. Because Radiation Blast takes away anybody outside, I believe. So that means none of the cops are going to be outside. I can pretty much do whatever I want. This is this is good. I think this is the end. I think I've actually got this down. All right, there we go. Ammo stock, uh, drop this. I'm going to put this on the pistol. There we go. And uh, we'll blow up this building while I'm at it. Because as long as I'm in the boundary of this building, I should be safe from any radiation. Even though that's not how physics work. That's not how logic works, but it's Streets of Rogue. All right, I've ran out, so we need to process some more stuff. Um, cardboard boxes, I'm not going to need, so we're just going to get rid of that. I think I accidentally processed something else. Freeze ray, I might keep. I'm going to find a, I'm gonna find an ammo refill station and probably use it. Um, machine gun, okay. I think we're good for now. Let's move this down to the second slot like usual, and we want to get this big quest out of the way like now. Normally, I wait for after the missions, but I'm going to do it now. There we go. And that's 53 out of 75. And these last four explosives should be more than enough. Okay. So let's see here. What I want to do 
I want to wait until there's like three, there's like one second left. And then I can toss this guy out of the building. And then he's going to die to the radiation. So we got to wait for the timing. Because I don't want to take any damage from this. Ah, he's in the other building. Oh, he died anyway. I'm a genius. My wall destroying skills were too good. All right, destroy that. That's the big quest wrapped up. Now it's just a matter of getting the hell out of here. All right, we got a guy to neutralize over here. Um, what I can do actually, um, what can, can, can I reach this? Um, actually, wait, if I toss a warp grenade in there, <laughs> let's see if that kills him. He's outside right now. Um, I wonder if that's going to kill him. That would be funny as hell if that happened. All right. Uh, okay. How about, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Um, run, hide. Okay, they have no idea where I went. That guy's back at his building, finally. Um, ah, oh, he's safe and sound in his building. All right, the heat has died down. So I'm gonna have to go outside and... Hi there. <laughs> All right, um, Molotov cocktails, not gonna be using. What did I just get rid of? Bruh. Um, I thought, I, that looked like I got rid of an item I didn't mean to. Um, whatever, because I believe that is the big quest for Demolitionist and the final big quest for in Streets of Rogue done. Rubble Rouser. Oh man, now it's just a matter of killing the mayor one final time. Alright, floor six. Let's do this right. I don't want to get killed on this floor because then I gotta redo all this garbage. Alright, uh, let's see here. Um, what have we got? Well, we could do this the cool way and finesse the hat off of him, but, um, you know, we're just gonna bribe them to start off. We just gotta... Luckily, there's no cop bots on this floor unless you actually activate the laser, which is always good. Alright, so it looks like he's in a pool. This could actually work in our favor. Or, we could do something like this. Oh, I could have fun with this. Actually, hold up. Uh, bribe for badge. Um, bribe for badge. Okay, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna hypnotize this guy. We're going to ask for the key and combo. Everybody in this building is now friendly to me. So what I'm gonna do, I can always just get rid of this. Now, if you guys don't remember, I've done this once in my big quest videos, and this is an item that you might not know about. So this is the record of evidence, a literal record of the mayor saying naughty things can be played at turntables. So when you take this to a turntable, which there is almost always one on the floor, as far as I know, things will get pretty whack. All right, so what I gotta do, I gotta go find a turntable. Um, let's see here. Where could one be? Is that a... That looks like a club right there. Um, it might be... No, it's not. It's just a normal restaurant. It's a normal bar. Um, maybe there's not one on this floor. Is there even a turntable to play? Oh, there is. In that building. Um, damn it. How do I get in there? Well, I could use a window cutter and break into that area. But the thing is, there's no one around there to hear it. There's not going to be anyone around there to hear that. So what I gotta do is, mm. you know what? I'm not gonna complicate this. I don't think this. I don't think using the turntable is gonna be wise in this situation because there's not enough people to hear it. There's not enough people to make it funny. So we're gonna do what any smart person would do, and we, well, damn, there's a lot of people right there. How do I approach this? Oh, I, I see how we can approach this. Here's the problem. Um, okay, actually. If I if I do this, this could get really this could get really um this could get really troublesome. Actually, hold up. Uh, can if I make the mayor friendly to me, he'll talk to me. There we go. Mayor is now aligned to me. Okay, hi. Um, don't mind me. I'm here to speak for the mayor. Ask for the hat. Ask for the hat. Yeah. See. Um. Okay. Well, we're gonna use Plan B. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Why are you angry at me? I didn't do anything. Okay. Um. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's wait for everything to calm down. <laughs> oh my lord. Good god. Okay. Well, all the people that are hostile to me are now dead. So this actually works out in my favor. Um, we're just gonna wait for the hologram to disappear. Because they all seem to be, uh... They all seem to be rather, uh... They all seem to be rather angry at the green gorilla. Okay, whoa. Jeez. And everybody's leaving the building. That's fine with me, because I can pick up the hat. All right, so I finally get to see the Demolitionist ending for this, because I haven't seen it before. Um, there were a lot of items I ended up not using in this run, but that's okay. Um, it, it, it's kind of expected in every run of Streets of Rogue that you always end up having some really nice items that you just never end up using. 
And because you find just better items to use in other situations. Well, there's a lot of people in this one. Listen, I know that some of you are annoyed about me blowing up your property, which I've done every single floor, but if you think of this way, think of it this way, I simply relieved you some of the weight of your possessions. I was helping you on your journey toward enlightenment. Damn, that's deep. That might be the most insane rationalization of terrible behavior I've ever heard. <laughs> just call me the bomb in Buddha. And so the mayor died a horrific death. Oh yeah, that death was rather horrible. <laughs> you died because everybody overreacted to a hologram in the room, and then you just happened to fall into one of their bullets. It's a terrible fate. So the mayor died a horrific death, and then the denizens of the city rejoiced. The new mayor eventually became corrupt, and it kind of just repeated itself in an infinite loop. But no one cares because all that matters is partying down. And for the last time, we have party down. That is the final big quest for Streets of Rogue. That was the Demolitionist. So, as you always, I give a little opinion, uh, particularly for the DLC characters. I give a little opinion of the character uh, that I played as, who was new to the game, which is Demolitionist in this case. So, Demolitionist is pretty good. Um, explosives were always a good way for shortcuts to be made in all the missions, and that's why Dem and Demolitionist plays on that part the most. So, you could cut a lot of shortcuts using explosives, grenades, especially when they're remote controlled. That was probably the best part about them. Because it was hard to teleport away from your explosive. You have to teleport away from your explosive uh, in order to um, not be called out for it. Because normally, if I threw a grenade, I'd have to teleport away from it while it exploded. So, no one would see that I was the one that, do it, uh, that did it. So, the uh, demolitionist makes it a lot easier to cut shortcuts like that. Um, we didn't get Blaster Master, which was like the one trait I was hoping to get because that would have simplified the big quest entirely. The big quest wasn't exactly as uh, exciting as I hoped it would be. It's honestly just find a bunch of walls. It's kind of like Jock, but you destroy walls instead of furniture, which uh, I think Jock's big quest is a bit more bearable rather than just walking around trying to manage enough explosives. I thought it was going to be as tedious as the bartender, where the bartender like had a lot of trouble finding ways to mix drinks together because you constantly had to go to drug dealers because you needed um, different chemicals. You needed drugs or cigarettes to actually be able to make uh, drinks or cocktails. So that was way more expensive than what I had to do, which was literally just find a bomb, find an item, turn it into a bomb, and there was almost no exception. There was almost no exception to what I could turn into a bomb, uh, apart from like money and keys and normal items like that. Um, and uh, overall, I think the character was very nice, but I want to see what its super special ability is. It's probably like got something to do with like Blaster Master and all the good abilities that the game never blessed me with. So let's go check it out. So as you can see, entirely green grid. Everybody has been done. This took, how long did this take? This took a year. I believe I continued the Streets of Rogue Big Quest like two or three weeks from now. Two or three weeks from now, it would have been a year since I did the Shapeshifter Big Quest, which was like the first one where I actually got back in the Streets of Rogue. And then like, that's when my channel really started to pick up because of Streets of Rogue. Um, and it was really fun to do. It was, this has been one of the most fun series I've ever had. And like I said, I'm probably going to adapt the playlist to be 50 episodes because I technically deleted one of my episodes that because there was a very bad video error that I should have gotten rid of way earlier. Um, so basically, this is technically the 50th episode. So I think it'd be nice to end Streets of Rogue on a nice round 50 episodes. So anyway, the super special ability is lower costs and bigger explosions from remote bombs that cause all, destroy all types of walls. NPCs do not notice you dropping remote bombs. Very, very useful. Um, people were asking me to do runs with the sp super special ability characters, but I was like, I don't know. I feel like that makes the game too easy. Because, uh, I feel like that would make the game too easy. Because it was already a challenge to do them in the default state. Um, imagine how much easier it's going to be, like, actually um, doing it with their special abilities. Because the thing is, is, you gain some of their special abilities in the middle of your run. So, I don't see how it's that insanely different anyway. So, I didn't feel like there was any point. I don't know if there's any other challenges or any other mutators that I thought would be interesting enough to do a full run on. Because, uh, the only one that I thought was, like, really good to do was, uh, it, one was really good to do was the, what was it called? It was Rogue Vision. That was a really fun challenge to do. It was really difficult, too. Um, I don't know. I always wanted to do a time limit extreme run. I probably am not. I didn't, I didn't see the point. I move fast enough in Streets of Rogue as it is anyway. But I think it'd be interesting to see how well I could think on the fly like that. Because uh, it would be very interesting to see how that works. Especially if I did random characters. But uh, again, I kind of want to leave the series at like 50 episodes. Unless there's like something that actually like really drags me back in. Something that's been added to the game that like interested me enough to come back. Like if he somehow adds more characters then of course I'm going to do a big quest video for them. Uh, but I didn't want to just exhaust the content I made for this game because if I just did shit that I didn't care about like it would have been a very boring video I hope you see where I'm coming from because I'm sorry to everybody who's probably gonna keep asking for more videos on this game 
but the thing is i would only come back to play this game if there was something that i haven't done yet for you guys or it was something that particularly interested me and there's nothing left in this game that i think would be interesting enough for me to make a video on not that i don't hate the game i do really really like this game this is honestly one of the, my favorite indie games that i've ever played and i thank my friend nathan for introducing me to it and that's probably a name you guys haven't heard in a while nathan was one of my high school friends who actually introduced me to streets of rogue so shout out to him hi <laughs> thanks for introducing me to this gem of an indie game uh but it's been a wild ride two years i've been playing this game my god this is the longest series i've ever had on my youtube channel which is fucking crazy but uh enough ranting overall i think the dlc characters um i think that's another thing i could talk about uh because since this is like one of the last videos i'll make on this game i think i could talk about that a bit more so the final dlc characters my final consensus on all of them is that mostly they're pretty good i i do like them i think the more i practice them the more i started to appreciate their tactics um because i was a bit i was a bit like kind of on the eh side especially for characters like goon and mech pilot i was like mech pilot this is just you just get a super suit <laughs> that's it uh, there was nothing too interesting especially when this big quest took forever this big quest was annoyingly long um and i was hoping that i i feel like one thing they could change is maybe make it less people like have a threshold have like a specific number of people rather than everyone on the floor because i think pretty much mech pilot was kill every criminal on the floor it was like 90 percent of them which I feel like there should be a bit less, but maybe it's because it, I think the challenge comes from an entire endurance run of being able to manage your oil and kill all those people at the same time. So I kind of get that, but it just wasn't my thing. Um, other than that, I have to say my favorite character to play as was Courier, and the funniest character was Alien. Alien was a fucking hilarious run. It was so much fun. Mind Control is such a... It's such a limited ability, but I think the fact that it's so limited is actually what makes it really inventive to use. Because you have to really think about how you use the character. Because I was, like, just doing a bunch of stupid shit with the character, and it was, like, really fun to do all this, like, massive brain moves. And I think that's the beauty of Streets of Rogue, is when I get to, like, I get to do things in the game that make me look really smart. <laughs> and it feels really good. Um... And I think that's all I have to say about the DLC characters, because I've already talked about, like, the previous characters. I love all these characters. Um with uh, one reasonable exception <laughs> one reasonable exception that i wasn't too down with the character probably my least favorite characters would have to be honestly this is my third least favorite character the second least favorite character would have to be scientist and then bartender bartender i wasn't really that much of a fan of especially when his big quest was so like annoying um his big quest was like really really slow and just too much it was a lot of money managing which i was just like this is boring as fuck um, but again, this character does have tactics that make it a very good character. No, again, it's just maybe not my thing. You probably all have different opinions from me on what your favorite character was. Um, and I have my own opinion, uh, on my, f I have my own opinions on my favorite characters, but my favorite character in the game, it's probably in the majority consensus. It's Assassin. Assassin is probably my favorite character in the game because of how fast it moves. The run is super, all the characters that move really fast are my favorite characters. So that would be Assassin, Thief, Gorilla. Like, these characters are just really fun to just speed through the game. And Courier. Courier was an awesome character. <laughs> because his ability is so simple, but it made the run so much more entertaining. Because you couldn't rely on some gimmicky special ability. Not, actually, gimmicky is a bad word for it. You couldn't rely on some random special ability you were given to help you through the run. It was literally, the floor is slippery. See how long you can last. And it was awesome. I had so much fun with it. This could be a good speedrun character if someone could play their cards right. And I always wanted to have a speedrun video. I always actually wanted to make a Streets of Rogue speedrun video, but I, I kind of just canceled that idea. I didn't feel like doing it. Um, What else do I got to say? What other characters were, like, particularly captivative? I think, like, Soldier was the first character I ever played as. And I said how much I liked this character when I realized how basic as fuck this character is. This is like the baby character. It's like, you don't know how to play the game? Here, a free machine gun and a grenade. Come on, you can beat the game with this character. It's easy. And this is the character I, like, did near the last. It was one of the last characters I did for the, uh, big quest. Because this character was really easy to play as. Um, what was my favorite big quest, though? What was the... Man, there's a lot I could look back on. I gotta make, like, a Streets of Rogue montage video. There's just so much. I know I'm kind of just rambling on about how I think about the game. It's just like, where do, I, where do I go from here? There's a lot. It's like, I've done everything. I've unlocked everything. I've done all the big quests. There's not many runs I care to do. Um, I guess it's just either I wait until something interesting happens to the game where I think, yeah, I should come back. 
Um, mods, the, none of the mods I've seen for this game have particularly interested me, so uh, it, it's probably going to be hopeless asking me to try to do it. Again, if I force myself to try to make a video on this again, it's just going to be really boring for me. So I'll only make a video unless there's something particularly interesting that happens to the game that I want to try out. So I think that long conversation I just had is a good way to wrap all this up. So wherever we go next i hope you'll be there with me and i hope you enjoyed the journey that we all had if anybody's been here since the very first episode of streets of rogue applause to you a, a, a good applaud a good a good round of applause um because this this series on my channel has like seen it all it's gone through all my setups for my recording it's seen it's been recorded on the crappy laptop like the first episode was on the crap laptop and then the second like the third episode and onward Wait, let me give me a second here was done on this bad boy remember this laptop i had a video talking about how i have a new laptop and now it's just sitting here on the side because i built a pc and even then streets of rogue all the dlc episodes were shown on my pc <laughs> so this series has been around from the beginning and it's it's freaking awesome how far it's come and like how much traction it gained and i i I, am, I was so grateful for everybody that joined me along the way, and I'm very happy that everybody enjoyed it. So, I'm done rambling. I think that's the end of this episode of Streets of Rogue, and maybe it's the end of the series. Who knows? But uh, I think it'd be best if I left this at around 50 uh, episodes. I'm going to go into the playlist and organize it later. So, thank you, everyone, so much for watching Streets of Rogue. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like the video. And uh, if you want to see more videos just like this, maybe like this, I think. <laughs> Depends on what I feel like playing. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in Enter the Gungeon because I'm definitely bringing it back. Because I need to I need to run that back. I need to go and play that game again because I'm not giving up. I'm going to beat that game. So thank you everyone so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in whatever I do next. Bye-bye.